Hello everyone. Uh, today I am trying to explain how to make a, a panorama from twin motion and export it out and uh, prepare it to be uploaded on Facebook or YouTube. So uh, let's start and assume that we have a already finished design and we are happy with it and now let's go to create the panorama so we go there panorama and create a panel I already created it and then if you want to adjust more setting as usual for more you can do whatever I was surprised that I can't when I usually when a camera setting under camera setting we can adjust the resolution but regarding to the panorama it's not existed so we have to accept the maximum resolution what I believe it's 8k so here you can adjust whatever you want lighting weather location whatever and then when you are happy with the result we go to the export and here you choose your panorama from more you can choose the maximum resolution available for us which is 248k and I hit maximum lighting I don't want 3d mode and that's it we are ready now just start we say start export and navigate to some place we would love to have and here and okay here I create a new folder and I call it Panorama 01. I choose this folder and let it go. Okay, uh, rendering are finished and now we got one PNG file and the, the way to make it uh, ready for Facebook and YouTube that we have first to transfer to convert it to GPG so the way to do that I will just drag it into Photoshop and I open it here it's of course 8k so it might take a little bit of time anyway here we are and all what we have to do here is just save it as GPG with the maximum quality. It will take a little bit. And we can use this time just to, to share my thoughts about the new features coming up uh, with twin motion. I have no doubt guys that it will be a perfect and exceed all our expectation because one reason only is that uh, Epic Games own Unreal Engine which is full of amazing features and good stuff and now while they own uh, Twin Motion I am sure they will have ray trace in the future and more good uh, features uh, but it will just take time anyway it's done here and we just go to save it somewhere let's say I just panorama one where is the original one here and I call this one different so we can know it okay panel converted and save this is the second part and now if you go to the same folder we have two the original one which is panorama 01 and the new one which is if we hover it gpg uh, third part what we have to do is that we go to navigate to this website which i will attach it in the description for you and uh, depending on whatever platform you are using windows or macintosh you have to download this it's safe and it's open source free for use if you want to donate to support the developer that would be great but after you download the windows this is a thing actually i want to show what you will get you will get these three folders you will have to double click this one and you get this window 
and here you have two options must as I read and know that you have to choose this one which I can't even read it but uh, this one what we have to do and uh, although here said GBG or PNG but PNG unfortunately doesn't work so we just click and navigate to where it is or much simpler way you go here and drag and drop inside okay and uh, and as a default as I believe this will be unchecked you have to make sure that insert fake camera data uh, and patch is selected and you can choose whatever camera information what this uh, plugin or software do uh, does is, is very easy things that normally Google services like Google or Facebook the when somebody upload a, um, a picture uh, photographed by this kind of cameras 360 degree cameras it's already recognize it and deal with it as a 360 degree but when we do uh, our 360 degree and some 3d software it has no information no metadata in it and this software inject this metadata in the picture so the soft the facebook and google uh, recognize it so we have to click insert fake camera data choose one and patch and just uh, if you this by default is checked in delete original image so the next one will be the same the result will be the same like this one so finally add metadata couple of seconds and that's done so now when I go to Facebook uh, excuse me I will not share my my page so just I will do it you can track you will find while it's uploading it give you this orbit sign what show you that it's recognized as a, uh, a 3d image and then enjoy and post it and share it with your friends or your client I hope this help some of you and if you like it please subscribe and support my channel thank you I am Muhammad Salam see you bye